Well, hockey may finally be back for NHL fans, but for one local boy, the season is over. His team is in the playoffs, but he'll be watching from the stands. Diagnosed with cancer, he and his mother are fighting the good fight, and his hockey family is rallying behind them, too. And you can help. CTV Stephanie Sherlock reports. 11-year-old Brett Kennard loves playing hockey. But while his team is gearing up for the playoffs, this peewee grizzly is keeping his stick skills sharp shooting at home. I recently got diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Sidelined by cancer, his first concern is his mom. It makes me feel like I want to do something. Mm -hmm. And by doing something, I think that that means that I have to beat it. Such a special kid. Just loves life. With no other family here, Sarah is starting to feel the stress of their situation. Oh, it's been really tough because I can't work. Like, I work at the Lockhouse Pub. They've been amazing, too. Like, everyone. <laughs> Everyone's been so good to us. But, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely been tough. And likely to get tougher. It's hard enough to struggle in life, but to struggle with your only, only child <laughs> and a uh, single mom. I'm in Brett's her world. Brett's hockey family is behind him 100%. We're talking about different players in the NHL that have had this disease. And, you know, we're trying to, as I say, be as optimistic as we can. And stepping up, organizing a bottle drive on the weekend to help Sarah with expenses while Brett gets well. He's such a good kid. And uh, <clears throat> it's a shame to see any kid go through this kind of thing. And their efforts are not lost on Sarah. I, I'm just wowed. I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm so thankful. <sighs> and don't go counting Brett out just yet either. Consider him on the injured reserve list. I'll be coming out strong next year, and yeah. <laughs> the bottle drive is Sunday from 9 to 3 at Western Speedway. This future hockey star and his mom will be there all day. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Highlands.